Hey, it's your bud, AVT Pro. I just got in. I'm going to take off this coat before it gets too hot. And so I just walked in. I want to blog about something. And um, I want to say I got on my father's tie. <laughs> I bought a tie the other day, and a girl, um, the girl, a friend was at Radio Shack, a uh, sales girl. She's a cute Asian girl. So, opulence, I has it. <laughs> anyway, so I went downstairs. I was going to put on, I didn't like the tie, so I went downstairs. I woke up late for church, and today is first Sunday. So, this tie doesn't match anything. So, if you copy me, you'll be not matching. <laughs> You're not copying. You know, but I wore it. It was sitting on the table, my father's tie. He probably went to church today. And so I went downstairs because the shirt, the shirt doesn't have, uh, the shirt that they sold me, it has um, cufflinks. And so it's a, a spot for cufflinks. So I didn't have any cufflinks. I haven't worn them in a long time. I haven't worn them in so long that... I forgot the name of them. So, I put on this tie because it was on the table. And so I wore it to church. And, you know, that kind of thing makes your father feel good. He had to help me with my cufflinks and stuff. I'm going to dress his, his little boy up. <laughs> Even though I'm a grown-ass man. You know? But, excuse me. I shouldn't curse. But, um... I ran out today, and so I was going to go to Starbucks and chill out. I still have paperwork. My church had a concert to do, but I left my iPad, which has my Bible, and because I was such a rush, and I, I woke up late, and it was first time I wanted to go anyway. And I um, also left my cell phone. And so I was I got some work to do, and I have to get it done. And I'm under a tight deadline, but, uh, you know, I'm managing some work. And I have to do some paperwork for it. So, um, so it's very good. So, um, so anyway, I want to talk about something. So today was first Sunday and, and this is the day with Baptists, you know, Catholics have, uh, with Baptists, we have, um, Holy Communion or Communion, uh, Holy Communion. And so that's when you eat the bread and and drink the wine, the body and blood of Christ. The bread, the bread representing the bread of life. Jesus is the bread. Give us this day our daily bread. They are not talking about bread. <laughs> to a degree, yes, yes. There's, it has two meanings. It's a, as they say, um, a double entendre. So, um, so on one level, it means uh, give us this day, you know, in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day, which actually doesn't actually, it's not the Lord's Prayer, it's the prayer that the Lord gave us, you know, so it's not really the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, his actual prayer is for himself is different than when we say our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, uh, I can't it at all, right? <laughs> I told you, forget, hallowed be thy name. I remember it every night before I go to sleep. I can't, you know, my mind draws a blank right now. But give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That part you can repeat. <laughs> just, just stay right there. Yeah, as we forgive those who trespass against us. That means they actually trespass. You know, just like no weapon formed against you will prosper. Doesn't mean the weapon ain't gonna be formed. <laughs> it's just won't prosper. Anyway, so uh, so anyway, so we had you know, like I said, Catholics have um, Holy Communion every Sunday. And when I was a little ultra boy, I used to go down here, and the wafers were so good, I used to steal the bread. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to tell that, but, you know, I did. I used to drink the extra little bit of wine, too. <laughs> but anyway, 
even today, like, you know, they had the nice little wafers, right? And even today when they pass the tray, you know, they have the little, <laughs> Baptist has the little chiclets, you know, and I'm used to the bigger bread. So I reach in and I grab a bunch of them and they're looking at me like, yo, <laughs> it's just, he's stealing more. <laughs> like, well, it's not stealing if, it's, if you actually send it to me. But yeah, I do that. I want all the Lord Jesus Christ I can get. So the pro, what I'm, why I'm bringing this up is because there's a little pop quiz that's going around, a little religious pop quiz, a little religious, religious, it's a little religious pop quiz, right? Also, uh, also I want to say happy birthday to Lish. Um, so anyway, that's another one of my adopted daughters. So uh, anyway, God bless her. Um, so anyway. Um, so, I, I uh, so there's a religious pop quiz going around, and now mind you, a friend of mine sent it. Reggie sent it to, to me, Reg Cole, and, and that's nice. And I, I gave him a smart remark back, and I hope I didn't offend him, but it, I wasn't. I was trying to make a little bit of a point. I said I don't know anything about religion. I know as much as much as Christ, about Christ as I can, because most Christians don't feel that they. Their religion. They just they believe in Jesus Christ who died for our sins, you know. And so one of the questions, and, and so it's a matter of faith, you know. And so once we have that, there is no other need to get involved. So the quiz goes around and it makes the assumption, and, and it's not just Reg. A lot of people are sending it around, especially because because they're like, oh, most Christians don't know anything. But you know, notice how they say Christians. They always tend to, tend to pick on Christians, you know, because Christians aren't violent, you know, plain and simple. We're not violent. We ain't going to kill you or attack you because you said something. Because, you know, you know, if that be the case, we'd be fighting every week. <laughs> but in my case, fighting every day, every time somebody come off their mouth wrong or do something to try to offend me. We At night, we say... Forgive us our trespasses, ours, because we, you know, we have trespasses against God as we forgive those who trespass against us. So, you know, you get a break. We don't have to, you know, hit you up with a rocket launcher, you know. So, so my point is, though, though Christians don't, we don't have to go studying all different types of religion and so what this quiz does is say well you need to know other religions in order to be religious and you know religion first thing the word in itself by definition is methodology it's basically you could be I'm religious about my art I do it every day anything that you do methodically or um, you do Constantly, I'm religious about some things I shouldn't be religious about, you know. So that's not a big deal about knowing religion and stuff like that, you know. It's not. It's not what Christianity is about. Christianity is about uh, believing, having faith in a particular person, a, a, a person, and who he is, and what he did, and and who we are because of what he did, you know. So. We believe in Jesus Christ as Lord God, Him, and that's it. You know, so we don't have to go dabbling in other kinds of, you know. And so, so the thing is, is as um, you know, generally, you know, atheists has to learn about different religions so that they can find out w which one they don't have any faith in. So Christianity, we don't know anything of. We we don't we don't know about a bunch about a lot of, a lot of us do it doesn't matter but I'm just saying the quiz insinuates that you know you need to know a lot about a lot of different religions or gods you know in order to be you know in order to be valid in some kind of way which is completely bunk and so um, so so. My point is is that atheists know a lot about a lot of different religions, but they have no faith in God. So, you know, and so there's one particular point about the quiz that if they were really astute about any religion, you know, like they say, jack of all trades, master of none. 
So if they really knew about um, uh, Christianity, one of the things that it says is they like to ridicule. They say, "Oh, they believe that Jesus, uh, the bread, you know, and the wine is actually the body and blood of Jesus Christ." And it is if you have faith, if you believe in Jesus Christ, that's exactly what it is. So to the double entendre, to some people it's just bread. <laughs> and to some people it is the body and blood of Jesus Christ who died for you. I don't know any other religion where, you know, the main teacher, the main, uh, the main focus, the main persona of that is a person who was willing to give up his life. He said he is the good shepherd who give up his life. He laid it down. You know, that's what it is. He laid it down so that we can have faith in, in him. Now, you can, I can have communion right now if I want. I can take a piece of bread and I can, I can take some grape juice and I can do it in remembrance of Jesus Christ and that the fact that he died for my sins and then that is the body and blood. Do it as often as you do it. If you know something about uh, Christianity, that's what it says, as often as you do it. Also, and then, and when he does it, when it's first brought up in the Bible, he says, this is my body that has been given up for you, is given up for the remission of sins, so that you know all that believeth or whatever can... Um, can be saved and have salvation. So if you believe in Jesus Christ as Lord, God, and Savior, that he died for your sins, period. You don't even have to have bread and blood for that, you know. This is just something in honor and, and you know, and it's just beautiful. I, I don't know how to say it other than that. But it's a very wonderful, wonderful thing to have communion with the Lord. So... You know, and it's a lot of other symbolism to it. But it also, there's another part in the Bible in Chronicles, and I don't have time to look it up. I'll try to post the link. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have, I didn't look it up before I got to this video, but I'll po post the link. But there is another part where it, that's, you know, uh, in Corinthians, I forgot where, First Corinthians, uh, that it lets you know that this is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And that don't take it unless you understand that this is the body and blood of Jesus Christ who has died for you. He said, if you hungry, you better off eating at home before you come here to church and, or whatever and to, uh, to eat this. Don't, don't do it because you're just hungry. You know, it, says, it says in the Bible, don't you got food at home? Eat there other than to desecrate the Lord's body. You know, judge yourself and all these other things before you actually do this. You know, you know, don't make light of it because it isn't. You know, Jesus, salvation is free for us, but somebody paid the cost. It was Jesus Christ and he paid with his life. So we don't take very lightly to it. So anyway, regardless of all that, I did take the test like a few weeks ago and the test failed. <laughs> the test failed. It had technical difficulties. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all. I tried to take the test, and after the second question, it, it started to frass out, and then it says, "Oh, sorry, we're having technical difficulties." You know, uh, so I didn't bother with it. So you know, and last thing I want to say about that to me, it promotes promotes this sense of I understand why it's out there. You know, it's it, it it it's trying to educate people with a certain amount of religious tolerance, which Christians have that anyway. <laughs> you know, we have tolerance for all. You ain't never heard me send anybody to hell because I can't do it. You know. <laughs> anyway. I didn't. I can only tell you what was told. You know, I didn't. I didn't make it up. You know, you can go read it for yourself. You know, so um, you know, but it promotes a sense of universalism, and so I don't believe in other religions, and I don't have to go around, you know, cherry picking from other religions to, uh, you know, to whatever. So that's the deal, y'all. And. Um, so I'm going to try to pull it together. God bless you. God bless you. Love you all. 
And, um, you know, uh, I'm going to try to pull together. I might go, I'm getting out of the house. I went to my friend's house who lives on a very rich street in Buffalo, New York. He's a very rich person. And he's been really good, blessed by God. He gives God all the glory and honor. And so, so that's a beautiful thing. And so uh, he's a good friend of mine. I met him in New York. And um, he actually lived in Buffalo. And I enjoyed so much being around him and his family, his wife, his son. And, uh, you know, it's just so good to be able to get away and, you know, look at something else other than these four walls. And it gives you a lot of inspiration and hope, you know. But whether I get it or not, you know, God is still going to get the glory and the praise out of my life, you know, whether I'm rich or not. You know, I am opulence. I has it, but <laughs> I'm just Okay. Anyway, God bless you all. I love you all. I'm not going to give my father his tie or his cufflinks back until later on. <laughs> uh, my, father, my, father, my father always, you know, I don't get, drive to, uh, I don't drive yet. And so he'll give me a ride. And he'll try to force me to go to church, right? And it was a pain. And so I won't go just cause, because he tried to force me into something. And, um, and, you know, and the fact that he doesn't get it, that, you know, you know, I don't need the help with that. I need help with the kitchen. <laughs> I like, and then when he tries to drop me off, he says, pray for me. I was like, I pray you fix the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't do it today, though, because he gave me the cufflinks. So uh, he never use them, but I'll give it to him when I take it all. I'm going to probably chill out at Starbucks. I want to do some paperwork and stuff like that, so... God bless you. Love you all. Again, I, the test is good, but I tell you, if it worked on me. <laughs> so anyway, I got all the answers anyway. Anyway, Jesus is nothing but Jesus. You know, it's just, I'm sorry. You know, you can know all this other stuff if you want, but, you know, you know, Muhammad didn't die for me. You know, you know, if that's other people's religion, you know, I'm happy for them, you know, but, well, not really. I would rather see them come to Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, but, um, you know, there's um, some if ands, and buts about that concerning their situation. So, you know, uh, I respect all what people believe and stuff like that. And it's, you know, you know, there's certain things that, you know, it's not for me to worry about, you know. Um, when, you know, we'll know eventually, you know. God bless you. <laughs>